one of the cool things about this time of year is that people start doing the spring cleaning and they're having yard sales and getting rid of all kinds of cool stuff for cheap. So today, me and the dog went out for a walk and found a bunch of interesting things for really, really cheap. So here is the first one for one whole dollar. A set of these component drawers. And they're actually the same, same, where is it? Princess Auto Power Fist brand as the ones that you've seen me um, installing earlier. So that will come in really handy, especially these larger drawers are good for uh, good for things like kits and stuff like that. So that was an excellent find. And then at another one further down, got this rock band USB microphone. You think, why do you want a video game microphone? Well, because it's actually a Logitech USB microphone. So I'm going to just see, I hope, for that whole dollar, A, that it works, and B, that I can use it um, with my laptop. And maybe it'll sound better than the microphone that I'm already using on my laptop. Let's see. Okay, so here is my laptop with the microphone that I have been using for a while. Just a standard cheap analog microphone. Um, so we'll just yak a little bit for reference and then I'll pause and switch out to the, uh, to the new one. Okay, now this is using the Logitech USB analog microphone. It shows up as that exactly. And if we take a look at the USB, it shows up as a Logitech USB microphone. And I've got it positioned exactly, well, the same relation to my mouth as where the uh, other one was. So I'm busy talking here. And unfortunately, the only way to switch back and forth is for me to unplug it and pause for a second. So right now you see I've got the built-in, uh, plugged-in microphone muted. So now we'll go back to that one. Okay, and here we are back on the original cheap microphone. I'll be interested to listen back to this during editing and just see how they sound. And the last thing I got is this Fuji Fine, uh, Finepix digital camera S5100 for $5. I'm looking at this and they had it earlier in the weekend, priced at $10. So that's already a bargain. Let's dig in here and just see what all's included. Now I know that this is an old camera. I'm not not expecting uh, great things from it, but it's probably better than uh, than the cheap camera that I've still camera that I've got right now. Uh, how old is it? Well, it recommends Windows 98, ME 2000, or XP. Uh huh. Uh, where is this? Is there a copyright date on this box anywhere? Not seeing it. Maybe there's one in the manual, but we'll just look at the uh, the box here for a second. Designed for Windows XP, so clearly it's old. XD picture card. That's going to be a bit of an issue because those are pain in the ass to find and expensive if you do. Uh, anyway, uh, four million effective pixels, so four megapixels. Ten times optical zoom, like an optical zoom. Has an electronic viewfinder. Um, movie VGA 30 frames per second with sound VGA that's 640 by 480 that's going to look like crap uh, NTSC PAL output webcam compatible with Windows XP SP1 only USB languages and the various accessories that the package is supposed to contain and yeah that okay so let's see what's actually in the box. We have a manual, en français. Uh, yeah, we don't have an English manual. Okay, well, whatever. We have a strap. We have the camera itself. Attached to one side of the strap and an extra lens. Yeah. That's cute. And a audiovisual cable. Okay, so 
Oh, that's not a lens. What is it? That's an adapter ring. Hmm. Well, that's fairly clean. So what, that just... I guess that's just a lens shade? A lens hood? Okay. Oh, and you can put 55 millimeter filters on. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um, what about down the bottom here? Four double E batteries. Okay. Uh, so that's where the no memory card in it. But that's where the XD card goes. And under here, the AV, USB, and DC in five volts coaxial. One moment, please. <laughs> Okay, this is my 5 volt Walworts. That doesn't look like the right size. That looks like it might be. What does that say? 2 amp 5 volt center positive. And that is 5 volts center positive. Okay, so we can light this thing up. That's good. There we go. Oh, the lens has kind of zoomed itself out there. That's kind of neat. Date time not set. Back, no. It's got no memory card. We knew that. Focus. Focus. Doesn't want to focus. Okay. Interesting. Um, what do we got for menu? Setup menu. Uh, back. Menu. Setup. Image display power save. Format. Beep shutter date time. Autofocus illuminator zoom position USB mode set up come on USB mode okay webcam looks like a printer that looks like a memory card probably okay well, I can record in raw or not Change the language, change from NTSC to PAL, uh, discharge, do not execute with nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries. Okay, back. Okay, so standard camera-ish features. Um, let's try it in webcam mode. For that, I guess I'm going to need a USB cable. Yeah, that looks right. And it's off. Um, I'll plug it into the laptop and see what the laptop has to say for itself. What does it show? It shows I have a Fuji Photofilm FinePix S5500 Zoom. S5500? What? The box said S5100. That's interesting. Uh, okay. So now then, let's get a, that's just a webcam application. So video controls, USB camera, frame rate, resolution. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Audio controls. Default, 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 image controls, video controls. Okay. So, where is, there it is. Let's just put that over there. So it's giving me 10 frames per second. Might as well go with the familiar view, right? But that is full size. Let's stretch that out a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of greeny and stuff. 
That's not too bad. Can I zoom? No, I'm just pushing the zooming keys on the camera. So I guess I have to do a manual zoom here. Just zoom back. That's not too bad in good light. Let's see what it looks like on the railroad. With less than good light. Yeah, well, that's not too bad. I don't have my uh, my super bright lights turned on. And my stash of crud up on top of the railroad where there should be things, but there isn't. Future mailbags coming soon. Okay. So I'll put that back down here. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, oh, I should have been... Well, actually... Let's capture a couple of images. Actually, let's start capturing a video. I'll edit. Ooh, what just happened there? I'll edit this in later. Okay. It's a pretty lame tripod I'm using, by the way. Okay, we'll stop that. Okay, so I've gone online and looked up this XD picture card, and yeah, they're hard to find. This camera is from 2005, by the way. Um, doesn't really say in the manual, but I looked up some reviews and stuff. It was, at the time, it was a decent camera. Um, for five bucks, it's a decent camera. Um, four megapixel with some optical zoom. Um, once I get a memory card, I'll have to actually try real video recording on it. Oh yeah, it's got a little built-in flash too. Um, yeah, I'll have to try real, uh, real video recording. That webcam video recording was pretty cruddy. Um, I mean, as a webcam, I guess it's okay, but it's not HD or modern. I can't use it for YouTube streaming, which is kind of what I was hoping I would be able to use it for eventually. Although I don't, don't know whether you guys want to put up with me unedited or not. Um, anyway, so this, once I get the, uh, uh, oh yeah, uh, right, what was I rambling about? Right, the XD card. You can get them, they're new old stock or used usually. Uh, but you can get adapters for SD, so I got one of those on order from the usual sources in China, so it'll be here in a month or two. Um, you may forget about this by the time it gets here, so be it. Um, it says it's a 5100 on there, the manual's for 5100 or 5500. It identifies itself to the computer as a 5500. I find that interesting. I'll have to look up the difference for that uh, sometime between now and when I actually start using it for anything. So that's not going to be all that useful for my videos, but it'll be fun anyway. This, depending on what uh, what I hear when I'm editing and what you've already heard, um, may become my new voiceover microphone for a dollar. And of course, there is the drawery thing for a dollar. I'm not sure which one of those is the steel deal of the day. Um, but it's a successful day of, uh, garage sailing. Thanks for watching to my rambling again. Uh, next Monday is going to be a mailbag Monday as usual. Um, if you have anything to talk about any of this stuff, uh, well, like I always say, let's, uh, get at her down in the comments. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you later.